All right, so lying on your back, any comfortable position. And taking a moment here to notice where you have landed on your mat and in your life. So first let's start by noticing, so we'll notice the mind first today. What's going on today in your mind? And perhaps just taking whatever comes up, <clears throat> good or bad, doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong either. Perhaps just taking it and placing it to the side for now. Come back to it later if you want to. And if it helps with every exhale, maybe you let it go or imagine that you place your thoughts on a cloud and watch the cloud slowly drift away. So starting our practice here with like a clean slate. And then noticing your breath. Notice how it feels in your body today. Are you taking shallow breaths or deep breaths? Does it feel easy to breathe or is it maybe sticking somewhere? Sometimes this time of year, allergies can interfere with breathing as well. And just notice. And today, if I remember later, we'll do a joy breath when we stand up. That'll be our breathing practice. So for now, just taking deep inhales in through the nose, into the diaphragm, and long, slow exhales out. And then noticing your body. Not only are we looking for the parts of us that are calling out for attention that maybe need a little bit of softness or care, but also the parts of our bodies that feel good or even neutral. <laughs> So as we move through our practice today, remember to listen to your body, only do what's comfortable for you today. Feel free to come out of a pose if you need to at any point and join us again whenever you're ready. So finding some small movements in fingers and toes. Rolling around wrists and ankles. Good morning, Kelsey. Maybe you find a big stretch here.
And then whenever you are ready, rolling over to one side, whichever side is calling for you. And making your way up to seated. Okay, so once you find a comfortable seated uh, place here on the earth, um, finding some circles here in your upper body. So maybe they're big circles, little circles. Maybe you find like the corners <laughs> in your body, whatever that means to you. Going in the opposite direction if you haven't already. And then gently coming back to center. All right, to find some shoulder rolls. So this, today we're gonna to start going the opposite direction than what we normally do. So inhale allowing the shoulders to come up towards the ears. Exhale, we're gonna roll the shoulders forward. And just make circles here with the shoulders. Inhale, reach back and up and then forward. Just moving here at your own pace. Notice what your shoulders are saying to you this morning. And then we'll go with the opposite direction. Inhale, allowing your ears, mm -mm. shoulders to come up by the ears. Exhale, shoulders roll back and down the spine. Okay, so one more time here. So let's bring the legs out wide, activating both feet. Finding your sits bones, so that comfortable place to sit here, sitting nice and tall. If you need to, feel free to grab a blanket to place underneath the hips. All right, so we're gonna be nice and gentle here to begin. Um, arms are gonna come out to the sides and then we're gonna push our palms out. All right, so we're, we have active hands here. So when we do this, we kind of feel a little bit of something going on in the arms, maybe even into the shoulders, okay? And then, Whenever you're ready, you're gonna reach over towards the right side. And then inhale, come back to center and exhale, reach over to the left. And just moving back and forth here with your own breath at your own pace. Notice what you feel. What do you feel in the arms? What do you feel in the legs? All right, so let's go one more time in each direction. And then once that's complete for you, on your inhale, bring the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips, bringing the hands down towards the earth, going only as far as it feels good and keeping the feet active. So notice if it feels uncomfortable along the backs of the legs, especially behind the knee, um, try not to lock out the legs. So one thing that helps me is by pushing the heels down into the earth a little bit, that unlocks the legs, a little less pressure, or maybe you just adjust how wide your legs are. On your next exhale, maybe you walk out a little further. Only if it feels good. One more round of breath here. And then slowly walking your hands back up to center. If your legs need a break, feel free to bring them forward, give them a shake. And then we're gonna come into another variation with legs wide whenever you're ready. Okay, so from here, 
we're going to bring the right forearm down either onto the thigh, the shin, or a block if you have one nearby. Okay, right. and we're going to roll the left shoulder back and down the spine, reaching the left arm up and over. So we want to try and rotate the um, torso so that we open the heart up towards the side or maybe even up towards the sky. Finding one more round of breath here. And then inhale, coming up to center. Let's make our way over to the other side. Left forearm comes down. Rolling the right shoulder back and down. So you open the torso before you come into the full movement and then reaching the right arm up and over. So know if uh, a shoulder, that top shoulder is uncomfortable, you can always bring that hand back down by your side. Finding one more round of breath here. And then inhale, coming back to center. All right, let's bring the legs forward, give them a bit of a shake. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to come into a forward fold. So keeping the feet active, find your sits bones here. A nice, comfortable place to sit up nice and tall. So same thing as before with the legs wide, if it's uncomfortable along the backs of the thighs, when you come down, push the heels in towards the earth. Or if you have a, a blanket, you can always roll up the blanket or find some blocks and stick them underneath your knees when you come down. Okay, so inhale, let's bring the arms up towards the sky, find length in the spine. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Imagine sending the heart towards the toes, hands come down wherever is comfortable. Keep the toes pointed up towards the sky. So a funny story. Um, Kelsey will know who this is. There's a gentleman yoga teacher from India named Nitya. And I remember doing this in his class once and he went and turned my feet. He's like, this is yoga, not dance the way my feet were turned in <laughs> okay <laughs> okay one more round of breath here and then find length in your spine and slowly come back up all right let's come into a tabletop pose <laughs> So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. He's, he's not a mean teacher. I guess I didn't need to throw that out there. It was funny that he said that to me because he's not really, I don't know. Anyway, all right, so tabletop. And then let's find some um, organic movements here. So whatever feels good for you, maybe it's C-shaped cat-cow, figure eight. All right, so let's come back to our tabletop pose. And then into child's pose. So big toes together, maybe knees come apart if that feels good for you, sending the hips back, arms come out long, or if you need to, stacking fists underneath your forehead. Soften here and melt the body down towards the earth. Taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. There we go. So I thought today our class can be around tapas. So tapas is about discipline, zeal, and an internal heat. 
broadly, we think of it as having the courage to change the things that we can, the discipline to take action toward a goal. Without such drive, there's no change physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Tapas helps us remember to keep getting on our mats and to keep going. So as you are here in this pose, in our practice, know that you have already taken the biggest step showing up. Set your intention to carry it through your practice with dedication. All right, so from here, let's make our way back into our tabletop pose. And then curling your toes under, sending your hips up and back behind you, downward dog. Keep as much of a bend in your knees as you need here to begin. So downward dog, gripping our fingers into the earth. Elbows, inside the elbows are looking at each other. Shoulders roll back and down the spine. Sending the hips back behind us. It's more about back than up. As much of a bend in your knees as you need. Softening the neck. Maybe you pedal out your feet here. Maybe you explore swaying hips from side to side. Maybe you come up on your toes, what feels good for you in your body. All right, one more round of breath here. And then we're slowly going to walk our feet up towards our hands. So take your time if you need to bend the knees as you walk the feet forward. You're gonna make your way into a forward fold. Feet are hip distance apart and then softening the upper body as much as you can. Maybe you take a deep bend in the knees for comfort. Allow that upper body to dangle. Release any tension in the neck. All right, so whenever you're ready, hands come to your hips, find length in your spine, and then come on up with a flat back. So mount and pose at the top of your mat if you aren't already there. Squeezing the inner thighs, shoulders roll back and down the spine. Crown of the head reaches high. On your inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky, extended mountain, softening the shoulders back and down the spine. And on your exhale with a flat back, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins or thighs, flat back. And exhale to fold. We're gonna do just a few half sun salutations here. So arms come out to the side, inhale, reverse squat, dive up into extended mountain. And exhale, hands come down to heart center. All right, so inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse, swan dive up. Maybe you find a slight back bend here, squeeze the inner thighs if you do. And exhale, hands come to heart center. So we'll do one more. Inhale, extended mountain. Maybe a back bend, squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse, swan dive up, extended mountain. 
And exhale, hands coming to heart center. So I invite you to take a moment here to close your eyes and just connect here with the present moment. Maybe if your hands are still together, notice the fingertips touch. Notice your feet on the earth. Notice your breath. All right, inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a big step back with the left foot coming into warrior one. So toes point up towards the top left corner of the mat, walking the right foot over towards the right side a little bit. Uh, so wide-ish stance, squaring the hips towards the front of the mat, arms reach up towards the sky. So we wanna make sure anytime we come up to standing, our front knee is over the ankle and in line with the second or third toe. All right, so slight tuck of the tailbone here. And then perhaps we'll find a back bend. So uh, yeah, we'll bring the arms out towards the sides and then open the heart up towards the sky. Continue to breathe here. All right, inhale, reaching the arms back up. Exhale, let's flip our stance to warrior two. Back foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. Front heel intersects with the middle of the back foot, roundabout, wherever feels good. Squaring your hips towards the long edge of the mat. Arms reach long. Check the front knee. And then we're going to find that variation here again with our hands. So palms face out, reach the arms out long, feel the stretch in the arms and still looking over the front hand. All right, so we'll find a reverse warrior if you want. You can find a little variation here for a stretch in the arms. We're gonna reach that right arm up and back behind us. Uh, hands come to the upper back, right hand. Left arm reaches up and over for that right elbow. Keep squaring the hips towards the side of the mat. And then you're going to open the heart up. So bending here from the waist. Send the head back. Try not to crunch the chin in. One more round of breath. And then releasing the arms, palms face out. And then side angle. So right forearm comes maybe to your thigh. Perhaps the hand comes down to a block or the earth. Keeping the torso and the hips square towards the long edge of the mat. Left arm reaches up, maybe over towards the front of the mat. Fingers together. And then feel the lengthening here from fingertips all the way down to the pinky toe edge of the left foot. Trying not to collapse in on that right arm. Let's find two more rounds of breath. And then windmilling, sorry, two more rounds of breath and then I hurry us <laughs> back into warrior two. Okay, ready? Windmill the hands towards the front of um, the mat, come up on the back toes, and then let's drop the left knee down towards the earth. All right, squeezing the inner thighs as you rise. So softening here, allowing the hips to sink and settle. Maybe find a slight tuck of the tailbone, soften the shoulders. 
All right, we're gonna find a twist. Arms come out to the side, turning towards the right side. So towards that front leg and then palms face out. Inhale, bringing the arms back up to center. Exhale, maybe you find a back bend, send the tailbone down towards the earth, open the arms out towards the sides. Imagine a string pulling your heart up towards the sky. So I wonder if I'm gonna remember all this on the other side. <laughs> all right, inhale, arms come back up to center. We're gonna find another twist here. Hand down, twist, left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Find length in your spine and turn towards the right. Squeeze the inner thigh. So we don't wanna let that right knee drop out towards the side. And then right arm reaches up towards the sky. Right hand comes down to the earth. Let's come into tabletop. And then into downward dog. Perhaps you pedal out your feet here. And then making your way into a forward fold. And on your next inhale, reverse swan dive up, push the feet into the earth as you come up and exhale, hands come to heart center. All right, mountain pose. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold, right foot steps back. Let's come into warrior one on this side. Toes point up towards top right corner of the mat, wide stance. Squeeze the inner thighs, check the front knee. All right, if you wish, finding a back bend. So send the tailbone down towards the earth, open the arms out towards the side, allow the heart to reach up towards the sky. And a couple rounds of breath here. And on your next inhale, come back to that warrior one stance, arms reach up. And then we're gonna make our way to warrior two. Checking the front knee, squaring the hips towards the long edge of the mat. Find those arms again where the palms are facing out. Nice active arms. Okay, so reverse warrior or this variation that we came into earlier. Left arm reaches up and over. Placing the hand on the top of the back, right arm finds the left elbow. Okay, and then from here, make sure the hips are still square. Find a back bend here by moving from the waist up, opening the heart up towards the sky. Allowing the arms to come back out towards the sides, palms face outreach. And then side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches up maybe towards the front of the mat. Trying not to collapse in on the left arm. Softening the top shoulder. Find your breath.
All right, windmilling your arms back up to warrior two, palms face out. All right, windmilling the hands towards the front of the mat, come up on the back toes and then drop the back knee down towards the earth. Low lunge, squeeze the inner thighs as you rise. Bend the tailbone down towards the earth. Perhaps you find a back bend here, arms out to the side, heart reaches up. This doesn't look like a whole lot, but I'm sweating. <laughs> Inhale, reaching the arms back up. Exhale, let's find that twist, arms out towards the sides, palms face out, turning towards the left side. Inhale, bringing the arms back up to center. Take a breath or two. And then our hand down twist, right hand comes down to underneath the shoulder. Find length in the spine as you turn to the left. Maybe the left hand reaches up towards the sky. Left hand comes down to the earth, finding your way into tabletop. And then into child's pose. Any variation that feels good for you. So as we move through our practice today, notice how we're kind of building heat. Notice what you're feeling in your body at this moment. And then can you maybe release, or excuse me, can you match the effort that you have taken with release as you rest here in this pose? Without any breaks, we wouldn't be able to sustain our practice to sustain discipline. Just like how day is followed by night, match some ease to your effort. Let's find two more rounds of breath. And then making our way back into our tabletop pose. Curling the toes under, sending the hips up and back behind downward dog. From here, allowing the left leg to come up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Perhaps you bend the left knee and open the hips towards the left side, keeping the shoulder square towards the earth. Or maybe you're just hanging out in downward dog. Where do you need to be today? What is your best effort today? It might be different from any other day. Gently making your way back to three-legged dog. Reach the left leg up towards the sky. Send the hips back. Ooh, feel the stretch. <laughs> and then coming into downward dog. I'm going to forget the other side if we don't do it now. So let's bring the right leg up towards the sky. Bending the right knee, open the hips towards the right side, square the shoulders. Find your breath. I always say find your breath, which is really funny. Connect to your breath. Our breath is not lost. 
All right, three-legged dog, downward dog, walking yourself forward into a forward fold, softening the upper body. What will feel good for you here in this pose? Do you need more of a bend in the knees? What would feel good for your arms? Would it be clasping opposite elbows? Maybe hands reach up and back behind you, clasp the hands, send the hands up towards the sky, rolling the shoulders back and down the spine. Maybe it's just a dangle. Release tension in the neck. All right, let's release our hands down towards the earth. And then we're gonna come into a halfway lift. So hands come to shins or thighs, flat back. We're gonna stay here for a couple rounds of breath. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Find equal weight in the four corners of the feet. So I know often I shift back. <laughs> so find that equal weight. Feel like you might be tipping forward. Crown of the head reaches forward. Rolling the shoulders back and down the spine. Nice active here. One more round of breath. And then gently coming up with a flat back, reach up extended mountain. Perhaps you squeeze the inner thighs, open the heart up towards the sky and exhale, hands come down by your side. All right, ready? We're gonna do a breath practice. And breath of joy, joy breath. Um, first time teaching it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move, the way it's gonna work is we're gonna take, uh, when we breathe in, we're gonna breathe in three parts. So you breathe in one third of the way, two thirds of the way, and then all the way. And our arms are gonna move along with it. And the way it's going to look is we're gonna do a third of the way, arms reach forward, the second third of the way, arms reach out to the sides and all the way full arms reach up. And then when you're ready to let go, when you're ready to exhale with a soft bend in the knees, you let it all out. <sighs> so if you've come to do yoga for grief, you know, similar to yoga for grief when we do this release. And then we come back up, inhale, reach arms forward. And then we keep going, okay? So let's start off here, just a couple rounds of breath to let everything go. Take a deep inhale in through the nose and then sigh it out. Deep inhale, sigh it out. I like to work in threes, deep inhale and sigh it out. Ready? On your next inhale, arms come forward. Arms reach out to the side, two thirds breath. Arms reach all the way up, full breath. Exhale, release. <sighs> One third breath, arms forward. Two thirds, arms out. All the way, arms reach up. And then let it go. <sighs> so move at your own pace. Inhale, one third, arms forward. Two thirds, arms side. All the way, arms up. <sighs> So as you do this, you can bring as much of a swing into your arms as you feel comfortable doing. Maybe it's just small movements in the arms. Maybe it's not forward folding all the way as you release the breath. Oops, <laughs> or sit side. And if it's not, if you can't remember how to do it, it doesn't matter, do it how it feels good. Let's do one more. All right, when you're done, shake it out. Shake out the body. All right, so this is good. Sheila, you were saying you wanted something to bring in a little bit of energy, so this can be good to kind of get you going later if you uh, need a little bit of a boost. <laughs> All right, mounted pose, top of the mat, ready? We'll find a tree pose and then a little variation of the tree. Squeezing the inner thighs towards center, shoulders roll back and down the spine. 
Shifting your weight into your left foot. We'll bring the right knee forward, activate the right foot. Then send the right knee out towards the side. Right foot comes wherever's comfortable. Maybe it's toes to the earth, foot to the shin, or above the knee, just not on the knee. So notice what's happening here with the left hip. Ooh, often that left hip pops out to the side. Let's tuck it under, standing nice and tall. If you need to, you can always find a wall or toes to the earth. And then we're gonna bring our arms up towards the sky. Find a place to focus on that isn't moving. And then bringing the right arm down if it's comfortable. Arm comes down to the top of the right leg, Ooh, reaching the left arm up and over. <laughs> Gently bringing the arms back up to center. And then maybe the left arm comes down by the side, reaching the right arm up and over. Inhale, arms reach back up towards the sky. And exhale to release the feet. Maybe you give your feet a bit of a shake. And then we're gonna make our way over to the other side. All right, so shifting your weight over into your right foot. Yes, <laughs> left foot comes up. Send that left knee out. Find your tree pose. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Tucking the right hip under. So as we move through this, can you find courage to change the things that you can? So maybe you kind of eh, try something a little different. Maybe you go a little further over. Maybe you release the hand from the wall just for a second. So left hand comes down by on top of the left leg, reaching the right arm up and over. Trust that, you know, you'll sway. You might kind of come out a little bit, make your way back in. Inhale, reaching the arms back up. Exhale, right hand comes down by the side. Reach, reach, reach over towards the right side. Inhale, bringing both arms back up towards the sky. <laughs> Exhale, release, shake everything out. All right. Let's come down to do a little bit of stretching. So come on down uh, seated on the earth. This is our very graceful transition to the floor. <laughs> How are we doing? Okay. Um, all right, any comfortable seated position here. We're gonna find a little bit of uh, stretch for the upper body. So let's bring the arms out in front. So if eagle arms are not in your practice, uh, perhaps you bring your hands together and bring the forearms together rather than eagle arms, or you find a cross here um, at your shoulders. So eagle arms, right arm out first, left arm over top, bending the elbows. Maybe the backs of the hands come together. Maybe you wrap the hands. Elbows come up to about shoulder height. Hands come away from the face softening the shoulders. Taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. Whenever you're ready, allowing the elbows to come down towards your chest, send the hands away from your face and then tucking the chin in towards the chest. Gently bringing your head back up to center. Releasing the cross of your arms. 
Let's find some shoulder rolls. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, shoulders roll back and down the spine. One more time. All right, eagle arms on the other side or whatever variation you're coming into with your arms. So left arm out in front first for eagle arms, right arm over top, bending at the elbows. Maybe the backs of the hands come together or you wrap the hands. So notice as you bring your elbows to shoulder height, what happens to your shoulders? Can you soften the shoulders? Notice if the hands are close to the face, can you send it away a little bit further? And if you wish, bringing the elbows down towards the chest, send the hands away from the face. Maybe you tuck the chin in towards the chest. Gently bringing the head back up to center, releasing the arms, find a few shoulder rolls. All right, so a seated twist here. So I'm gonna invite you to find whatever variation of this pose that feels best for you. So we'll start here with the left leg out long and hugging the right knee in towards the chest. So maybe this is as far as you go, or if it's in your body, crossing the right foot over the left. And if it's in your body and you're able to keep the right foot on the earth and the left sits bone on the earth, maybe you tuck the left leg under. Find length in the spine. And then bringing the right hand behind you, left hand comes around that front leg. We'll go in four parts here to twist. So inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, turning first from the waist. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, turning the low ribs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turning the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, perhaps you turn your head. So this left arm is totally up to you. You can wrap it around the front leg. Or if it's in your body, maybe the outside of the left elbow comes to the outside of the right thigh. On your next inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, come back to center. We're going to uncross the legs, send them out long, maybe give them a shake. Find your sits bones once again. All right, at other side, right leg is long, left foot comes in, hug the knee in. Maybe you cross that foot over. Maybe you tuck the right foot under. All right, we'll find our twist. Left hand behind us, right arm to the left leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, turning from the waist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turning from the low rib cage. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turning the shoulders. 
Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, turning the head. With every inhale, lengthen the spine. With every exhale, I don't know, maybe you turn a little further. Maybe you just kind of settle into the pose. And again, option for that right arm to come out a right side of the elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Might help you turn a little more if that's what you're looking for. All right, inhale to lengthen and exhale to come back to center. Let's release the legs, give them a shake. Okay, and then we're gonna come down onto the earth, onto our backs. So you have an option here. Um, if you were here last week on Saturday, we did it last week. Um, so you can either come into, <laughs> what is that pose called? Um, eye of the needle, um, which is, we'll start on the right side, all of us. So we'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh, activating the right foot. All right, so you can either come into eye of the needle by drawing the legs in closer towards you, grabbing a hold of the left thigh somewhere, keep the right foot active. Or if it's in your body, coming into a leg cradle. So left hand comes towards the right foot, right arm reaches around for the shin calf area of the right leg. And you draw the leg in close to you, keep that foot active, and then perhaps you extend the left leg out long. Softening the shoulders. So again, where do you need to be? Maybe it's eye of the needle. Maybe it's even um, left foot on the earth and then you're just pushing the right knee away from you. So we have lots of options here. Find the one that feels best for you. And of course, if I don't offer something, but you know something that feels good, come into that. Let's find one more round of breath. And then releasing the right foot down to the earth or wherever you are. We'll bring both feet down to the earth, knees are bent. Activating the left foot, placing the left ankle over the right thigh. Again, um, maybe you stay here, maybe you draw the legs in, or perhaps you find that cradle. Wherever you go, keep the left foot active. So if you find a leg cradle, draw the leg in nice and close, as comfortable as, as it feels, and then perhaps you extend that right leg long. Wherever you are, softening the shoulder, softening the jaw, smoothing out the skin in your forehead. Taking deep inhales in through the nose and long, slow exhales out. Notice what feels good in your body.
All right, one more round of breath here. And then releasing. Placing both feet on the earth. Repositioning your back flat on the earth. And then last pose here. So either a bridge pose, or if you want, you can come into a supported bridge. So in our supported bridge, you'll need a block or folded blanket or a pillow. And you'll be lifting the hips up and placing that prop underneath you. Um, so it comes not in the low back, but just below there. And then legs can come wherever's comfortable, baby knees together, maybe legs out long or into a, a, a bridge without the support. <laughs> so feet are close to you, uh, about hip distance apart, pushing the feet into the earth, lift the hips, squeeze the inner thighs. Maybe you grab a hold of the long edges of your mat and imagine you're ripping your mat in half, pull. Or if it's in your body, clasping your hands underneath you, rolling the shoulders under, see if you can send the hands down towards the earth, lift. So find your variation here. So sometimes we come to our mat and we try to um, kind of, you know, push ourselves a little bit, not into any sort of discomfort, but we put in effort. But sometimes we need to ask ourselves, do we need to push here? Sometimes what we need is a little bit of softening, a little bit of kindness, a little, uh, a little bit more gentle practice. All right, when you feel like your bridge is done, slowly making your way out, full bridge, slowly bring the legs down or the hips down. And a um, supported bridge, push the hips up towards the sky to remove your block and then gently bring the hips down. We're gonna allow the back to just soften here. No sudden movements. And then perhaps you bring the feet wide on the mat and the wind shall wipe the knees from side to side. All right, what would feel good for you in your body right now? Maybe it's some sort of shape in yoga, yoga shape. Maybe it's uh, another shape. Uh, maybe it's a drink. What is it that your body needs? We have about two minutes. I'll let you know when we are about halfway through. So about halfway, if you have another shape you wish to come into or another side. And whenever this feels complete, finding Shavasana or any final resting shape on the earth.
So taking deep inhales and long, slow exhales. Softening your body, releasing any tension. So again, our theme for today was tapas. Discipline, zeal, and internal heat having the courage to change the things that we can and the discipline to take action towards the goal. However, there is one thing to consider. Just because you can change something, does that mean that you should? Just like fire, can be harnessed for good or for bad. Tapas can be transformative or if unchecked, destructive. I invite you to consider what changes are healthy and necessary. And maybe what things are not. Is there anything that maybe you feel restless towards or you are over efforting your way into it? Maybe it was a yoga pose, an action or a relationship that maybe doesn't need changing. So I invite you here for the next few minutes to rest with a sense of well-deserved release. Offer gratitude for your effort. What happens on the mat can show us what can happen off the mat. Consider where you might bring the lesson of practice and perseverance into other areas of your life. Are you holding any tension anywhere in your body? Can you rest, relax, soften? Finding that balance between effort and ease in our practice. This is our time of ease.
really seeing the need to do anything to change anything. And allow this to be your opportunity to let go. Gently bringing your awareness back into your space. Perhaps finding small movements in fingers and toes. Maybe those small movements turn into bigger movements. Gently making your way over onto what one side, whichever side is calling for you. Can you find gratitude here? Maybe for your practice, for taking the time to be here today, or maybe for something else in your life. And then whenever you're ready, gently making your way up to seated. And once you get there, lowering or closing your eyes. Taking deep inhales in through the nose. And long, slow exhales out. As you inhale, I invite you to inhale self-compassion, remembering that the most important thing you did today was show up and also breathe. As you exhale, release anything standing in your way. I honor this virtual space that we are in that has allowed us to come together today. I honor all of the yogis from India and all of the teachers from India and around the world who have provided this beautiful practice for us. And I honor all of you for being here today, for sharing your practice with me and with each other. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day.